Hey, I'm Chase from Sorcery Contested Realm, and today I'm joined by game designer and graphic designer, uh, Sean Goodison. Thanks so much for joining us. Hello. Uh, good afternoon, I suppose, <laughs> for you. And we're going to be talking about thematic lists for Sorcery Contested Realm. There's so many ways you can build your, your deck out, and you know it's really easy to get inspired by the art. And one of the cool things about sorcery is that you can kind of tell a story as you're going through. And as you start to look at the art, a lot of times you start to think, you know, man, what's what's really going on here? So you've actually been talking to me a little bit about how you've been starting to put some of that flavor together to build your decks uh, around particular themes that come to mind. Yeah, there's, I mean, there's a lot of different ways that you can kind of approach deck building. And um, mine tend not to be from a competitive point of view. <laughs> Uh, it'll be usually be something else that catches my eye. So, like for example, this deck that we're about to have a little look through. Uh, actually, it was the art that kind of inspired this originally, because um, looking through and uh, spotting all of this matching Andrea Modesti art of all of these mortal soldiers and a little bit in fire, mostly in earth, and being like, oh, it'd be really cool to put together a deck that was almost just one art style. Um, so putting all of those cards in and then trying to build something around that is kind of where the inspiration to make this deck came from. Well, fantastic. So let me pull it up here. And uh, we're looking at the Mortal Armies deck. And so talk us through, you know, how do we, how does one play Mortal Armies? What are the key components of this that give it its thematic flavor? And then like, how would you actually pilot this deck? Yeah, so... The thematic flavor kind of comes through the setting um, that comes through through card text and type lines and artwork and all that kind of thing. Um, and we've talked about this a little bit, but it's kind of this idea that you have um, Earth or Midland in the, in the middle that is kind of beset <laughs> on all sides by the other elements. Um, and so this definitely plays into that idea uh, where you've got these Mortal armies uh, were basically being piloted by me in this instance, fighting <laughs> whatever you throw at me and, and yeah. seeing if they can survive. Um, and so even though I'm playing uh, predominantly Earth with a bit of fire um, as my elements, I haven't put in a bunch of the kind of competitive staples. You know, there's, there's no Autumn Unicorn, there's no Pudge Butcher because no demons in the mortal army. Right. Uh, and so the theme kind of comes through from there where yet literally all of the minions in this deck are all mortals um mostly earth being the the people who are um part of this kingdom's army uh and then backed up by a few mercenaries um out of fire of course it's the the backbone of every mortal's army of earth has got to be the the recruits from the humble village right of course, of course. Um, <laughs> Those poor, poor uh, recruits. Plenty, plenty of villagers in the deck to uh, to support that. Um, and those foot soldiers will come in very, very handy for kind of some of the strategy in a little bit. Um, but yes, it's kind of a bit of a go-wide strategy with no super big minions, although uh, there are a few of those mercenary recruits like the uh, Death Dealer in there. <laughs> you know just that Couple, guy yeah, yeah. just this guy you know he's good to have it when he's on your side right you know yeah ex exactly you want, you want to make sure that you pay the death deal and make sure he's on your team um the army itself of course led by the king of the realm uh who doesn't go anywhere without some royal bodyguards um of course can, there we go if you yeah. can find them at the same time uh and then yeah all of that supported by uh those kind of key earth pieces like the house on bannerman and the Shield Maidens, one of my favorite cards. Oh, um, yeah. Just to give everything that little bit of extra power, a little bit of extra survivability. Because it's tough being immortal out there, you know, right? <laughs> There's like Diluvian oh, Krakens yeah. and all these things. And, you know, sometimes it's helped to have a buddy with a shield who's going to just, you know, protect you. Well, more. several, preferably several, which yes. if you ever look down into the magic, there is a, a lovely spell there called Shield Wall, which I'm trying to find a way to work in one maybe two more of these because yeah. it's it's great i love it um it's one of the cards that was kind of held back in the original kind of spoilers for alpha uh 
and so yeah i kind of had this in mind for when i first started building the deck but it wasn't available on curioso at the time so um, now is that a challenging part about being a game designer where like you're you're playing with a full deck <laughs> that sounds weird when I say like, but like you know and everyone else is, isn't yet and then you you know you know this stuff is coming um and you gotta you know keep those secrets uh oh yeah, yeah a little bit it's it's more challenging that like you'll go through and and like i did with this i built the built the deck not including shield wall mm -hmm. uh and kind of trying to balance out things of like oh how many um berries am i going to put in the deck and how many um bannermen and how many of my elder spine pikemen am i going to put in yeah because um, i love them too oh um, my gosh, yeah <laughs> oh my gosh that's like one of my favorites and so you build out the deck and then it's like okay but i've got in mind at some point i'm going to be adding in shield wall and then it shows up and you're like okay well now i have to kick something out yeah, yeah. Or, or kick a couple of things out and so that that's the worst little... part it's always fun <laughs> that's the worst stuff part, yeah. it's not Just fun to take it stuff out. <laughs> uh, you got your amazon warriors another staple there yep they're great um really like them just big square powerful minion also mortal uh and handy to be able to grab something like that with your common sense oh yeah like and so there's a couple of things in in here like um i've got one copy of dispel which i can grab with common sense if i need it mm -hmm. um, one copy of critical strike um there was a version of this where i had a little bit more fire magic in there of like a i had a heat one heat ray one minor explosion so i could kind of use the common sense to grab what i needed from the toolbox yeah. but they didn't quite fit the theme as well uh so instead we've got some people burning up the land <laughs> um, and i've actually to lean more heavily into uh, an aspect of this deck which i really like i actually took those spells out and uh, shift the, the deck a little bit to rely a little bit more on my artifacts for my kind of ranged damage oh um, yeah so payload trebuchet a couple of ballista and um, and this is where having all of those foot soldiers can come in really handy where you, you kind of get them out early you maybe put them in to be blockers or something like that but um really they're kind of biding their time and waiting for that moment where you can throw down a siege ballista and suddenly these uh foot soldiers uh become quite threatening yeah. yeah that's so cool um and then what did you go with sites here we got a i've got quite a few double threshold cards in there so i didn't want to do too many off element mm. uh sites um and you'll see it's predominantly earth um i think it's about 60 percent 66 percent earth 33 percent uh fire um in terms of the elements and then just thematically, I had to throw in a couple of free cities and the Great Wall just because they play into yeah. that, that uh, defensive um, kind of narrative so well. Man, I love it. And so now I feel like as a community challenge, I would love to see the other side of this. So if you're watching, you know, you're, <laughs> someone's going to make the, the mortals themed army. They're going to hold the line of and protect Midland. What would be like the encroaching enemy force that would be trying to like you know the all monster deck trying to swarm over and take out the mortals so yeah, probably uh, probably monsters and demons like i imagine something with uh and it would probably wreck me to be honest but, like <laughs> something like fire playing like violence which are just like oh yeah great at, 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 like at taking out a bunch of my kind of you know uh sniping out kind of key pieces um would be terrible against me so don't do don't, that don't, hmm, <laughs> i feel like i gotta here's what i want you guys to do if uh, you can in the comments below come up with your best you know uh thematic uh invading force here and we ha we'll have to do like a, a battle off here to see uh can the realms of men hold the line well actually the other interesting one would be to do an opposing kind of mortals force oh. of like highland clansmen sea raider yes and all of these you know basically the other side of the conflict yeah um, yeah because i guess oh, now I see something like uh sea raider captain yeah, like Siren with and... like the lord of unland leading this water force yeah. to oh my gosh yeah. harpooners and ormond we, we need the water air uh 
okay. mortal invasion uh, deck to, to match this one. Absolutely. We'll get some sneak thieves that are uh, sneaking into your territory and... And, and stealing my ballista? <laughs> yes, <laughs> of course. <laughs> um, that would be fantastic. Well, it's just know, like this guy in the background, like wheeling, like with the, the squeaky <laughs> wheel on the ballista. I'm just pretty like sure they have to off. take it through a window. It's part of the rule of being a sneaky. <laughs> yeah. <so. laughs> or he's uh, pushing it up into the mountain pass so I can't get it back. You yes, know? there we go. There we go. Oh, okay, well, now, now I'm inspired here. So okay, I, think, you know, I think you need to build this deck and then okay. we can we can face off. And then we can report back on, on how it goes. <laughs> yeah. Where the Midland still stands. And uh for you know community members, we'd love to see the thematic decks that you're building. Uh what sort of, you know, as yeah. the, the lore is is somewhat flexible, right? You have the, the backbone, but you can fill in, you know, maybe uh you're envisioning there are, you know, uh pirate nations that uh you want to go with uh, you know, pirate and fire, you know, sort of the, the southern uh corsair sort of things uh where you have some you know water and fire together um but you know see what you can come up with and and uh you know share your links uh in the comments below and uh, maybe we could come back sean and we could talk about some of our favorite thematic lists that people have generated yeah that'd be cool that'd be cool i'm uh, always so keen to see what other people are building because it's like it's a little insight into kind of what kind of stories people are interested in yeah now you got me thinking like pirates though. I'm like, I've got to make that work. Well, tell you what, if you want to, if you want to build this uh, air water mortal invasion deck, yep, pirate themed. Uh, talk to Mike. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> that'll be you. that'll be another video we should do. Let's talk to him about the nautical aspects. There you go. Follow up video of you two building a, a thematic deck. It'll be a two hour video of us talking yeah. about piracy, <laughs> and then a fifteen minute video. Uh, building our deck but that still might be fun it'll be um, interesting michael dropped lots of historical facts yeah about the golden age of piracy hey i'm all about that i'm all about that <laughs> well th thanks so much for jumping on and talking through your list here your your mortal armies and uh, i'm gonna make my own counter mortal army list and we'll we'll do battle excellent excellent looking forward to it all right and thanks for everyone tuning in and until next time we hope you enjoy contesting the realm <laughs>